What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be breaking down the EOD perk within Modern Warfare with both multiplayer as well as Warzone because it actually behaves quite differently between these two modes. So hopping right into it, EOD is the perk that helps you against enemy explosives as well as fire. And with this, it isn't just a flat reduction to the amount of damage that you take from those explosions or the fire. It's actually a bit of a combination. It works as a damage clamp as well as a damage reduction. And what I mean by a damage clamp is they have a certain value set up where you just can't take any more damage than that value from a single explosive. This ensures that if you're using EOD, a single explosive, excluding kill streaks, will not be able to kill you if you have full health and EOD. A great example of this is with the RPG. The newly buffed RPG now deals a maximum of 250 damage if it hits right by your foot. And with 250 damage, you would think that even if you have EOD, it wouldn't be enough to save you since you only have 100 health. However, it turns out that in core game modes, EOD will clamp the amount of damage that that will deal to you at 80 damage. And this means, like I said, you will always survive that explosive with EOD as long as you haven't taken damage from another source. The exception to this is, of course, direct impacts. A direct impact with a launcher or a direct stick with a Semtex, for instance, those will still kill you even if you have EOD equipped. But if we're just talking raw explosive damage, the most damage you can receive in core game modes is 80 damage from a single explosive. Now, that damage clamping is only part of it. Like I said, the other part of it is you do get a pretty significant reduction to the amount of damage that is dealt to you from explosives. And based on my testing, it appears this damage reduction is about 15%. So for example, with an RPG just on the outer edge of its radius where it's able to deal damage to you, it will normally deal 50 damage to you if you don't have EOD equipped. Whereas if you do have EOD equipped, it will now deal 42 damage against you. So it's really not a significant reduction by any means to the amount of explosive damage that is dealt to you. The primary purpose of EOD is to act as that damage clamp. Now, I should also mention that this damage clamp does apply to hardcore as well. However, I don't know what the exact value is on this damage clamp because when you set up hardcore health within custom games, it doesn't actually read that as the hardcore mode rules. It only reads that as hardcore health and therefore that damage clamp doesn't apply within custom games, but it does within public matches. So EOD absolutely does help you a decent amount within hardcore. I just don't know the exact values on that. I do know that you are much more likely to survive explosives though if you are using EOD, and therefore it is a great choice for hardcore as well. Now, as for fire damage, I also did a little bit of testing just with the Molotov for core game modes once again with EOD. And this one, I'm not able to be quite as precise with my damage values just because it is dealing rapid damage over time. But without EOD, if that Molotov hits right next to you and you're within that explosion radius of the Molotov when it first hits the ground, then it will kill you in just three ticks of damage. And those ticks of damage happen very, very quickly. In that same situation, if you have EOD equipped, it's going to take five ticks of damage before you go down. So you've got more time to get out of those flames and potentially survive that situation. As for the other situation where the flames are already on the ground and then you walk into the flames, Without EOD, you can take 5 ticks of damage, and with EOD, you can only take 6 ticks of damage. So it does help a little bit here, but not by a significant degree. So it mainly seems to help more with that initial explosion from the Molotov. And in those situations, absolutely, it helps you quite a bit. And it gives you plenty of time to get outside of those flames, as long as you have a decent reaction time. So yeah, overall, I would say EOD is much more effective against a single explosive rather than something like a Molotov that deals damage over time but it is still going to help you in those situations, and it will often make the difference between life or death when a Molotov hits right next to you. So that pretty much covers EOD for multiplayer, and I think most of us have known basically since launch that this is an incredibly powerful perk, especially for objective game modes for players that like to play the objective and be right up in the action, and it also is great for dealing with things like claymores and proximity mines for those people that like to rush. As a result, I've always used EOD on almost every single one of the classes that I use within multiplayer. But now it's time to move into Warzone, because EOD does behave a little bit different within Warzone. Now once again, it does act as a damage clamp as well as a raw damage reduction from explosives. However, within Warzone, there are actually two different damage clamps. There's an armor clamp and a health clamp. Now to explain that a little bit more, once again, I'm using my RPG for testing purposes here. And the first damage clamp applies to your armor. If you have any armor on whatsoever, 
One single explosive can only remove your armor. It won't eat into your health at all. So again, in that same example where we have an RPG hitting right next to your foot, this is 250 damage that this would deal if you didn't have EOD. However, if you have two armor plates or three armor plates or one armor plate, it doesn't matter. If a rocket hits right next to your foot like that, all it's going to do is completely remove your armor without dealing any damage at all to your health. Then after that, we have the second damage clamp. Assuming you have no armor equipped and you have full health, once again, our damage is clamped at 80 for this second damage clamp. So again, if that rocket hits right next to your foot, normally it deals 250 damage. With EOD, you're only going to take 80 damage from it. Again, of course, I do want to state this is assuming you don't get direct impacted by the rocket. A direct impact will kill you even if you have EOD, full health, and full armor. But the main thing I wanted to point out here within Warzone is it will take three RPGs right next to your foot, assuming you had even just one armor plate and full health, in order to get a kill on you. And that's huge because with that most recent RPG buff from last week's update, if you aren't using EOD and you get one of those rockets landing next to your foot without even hitting you directly, it will take off all of your health and all of your armor and you'll be dead. So that is a huge difference. Instead of just taking one rocket in that area, you can take up to three before you're dead. And this is huge. This is something I didn't realize. I didn't realize we had that initial damage clamp on armor. And I always just assumed that like if you only had one armor plate and then you took a rocket that landed right next to your foot, that it would still either kill you or you'd be really, really low on health and then they just have to put a bullet into you. And that's just not true. All it's going to do is first take off your armor before the next explosive can start eating into your health. So those are the damage clamps. As for the raw damage reduction to explosives, this one's a little bit harder to test with absolute accuracy like I can in custom games for multiplayer. But it appears EOD works a little bit better than multiplayer. It seems to be about a 40% reduction in the amount of damage that you take from explosives while using EOD. Keep in mind, this reduction only applies to your health. It doesn't apply to your armor plates. So normally in this situation right here with an RPG at that range, it will deal 50 damage to you. However, it looks like I only took about 33 damage. It looks like it took about one third of my health bar away. And therefore, that's about 40% of the amount of damage dealt to me. So yeah, EOD is actually quite a bit more powerful within Warzone compared to multiplayer, and it's already really powerful in multiplayer. And as a result, I've actually switched all of my Warzone classes from Cold-Blooded to EOD, and I do feel this is going to be the new meta going forward. Cold-Blooded was definitely that perk that was the meta perk for Tier 1 within Warzone previously, because thermal scopes on snipers were just so incredibly popular. Almost everybody was using thermal scopes on snipers, and they could just sit up on a ridge, and they could scan in the distance hundreds and hundreds of meters away, and they would easily spot people that they otherwise wouldn't have seen because they'd be glowing really bright in the thermal sight. So because of that, pretty much everybody that knew what they were doing was switching over to Cold-Blooded so that they wouldn't get spotted like that. However, that has kind of adjusted things where now fewer people are using thermal sites because more people were using cold-blooded, and therefore I would say cold-blooded isn't as useful now as it was when Warzone first launched, and EOD, I believe, is going to take its place at this point, or at least I feel it should take its place at this point due to all of the explosive spam, particularly with the RPGs. But that is just what I'm doing, and that's my opinion on this. I do feel that now EOD is the most valuable tier 1 perk to use within Warzone. But that's just my opinion, and I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. First off, when it comes to multiplayer, what do you guys think of EOD? I think most of you would agree that it's a very powerful perk. However, with Warzone, were you also as surprised as me that we have those two different damage clamps, where even if you have just a little bit of armor on, it's going to completely protect your health pool from a single explosive? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.